Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony, and the sad state of affairs is, is E3 is no more. E3 used to be a huge gaming event where you know a lot of the there was a lot of showcasing of games during the event, and a lot of um, companies were all gathered there. It's one place where people would be able to gather, you'd be able to be, and all these games would be announced. And it was really I've never been, but it, you know for me watching it, it was a really fun time to be able to see everything all at once. And, you know, Microsoft split off and did their own thing. Nintendo did their own thing. Sony was start, decided to start doing their own thing. And then with the COVID stuff, right, 2020 was canceled. Then 2021 was a virtual event. 2022 was canceled. And 2023 is we're waving by to it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure people had some great memories to it, but... It seems like, and you can kind of see the writing on the wall as, you know, Nintendo and Microsoft were having their own events, is that, you know, companies wanted to control when they would be announcing and launching games. And they didn't want to do it around this yearly time period, time that E3 was. While I think E3 was a great event to be able to, you know, go and announce things and, you know, you'd have a whole bunch of gamers there and get excitement around your games. It seems like companies don't want to do that right now. And uh, the sad state of affairs is that caused E3 to close down. Um, yeah, it's it's disappointing. Um, you know, the, is this, you know, is this, you know, a blow? Is this going to be a blow, big blow to the gaming industry? And it's a downside to the gaming industry because, you know, there's one where you know. Everyone was there, right? Developers, publishers, you know, were all able to showcase everything to the globe, a global audience. Now you're going to rely on these big, you know, Microsoft or a Nintendo and Sony, right? They, they have a lot of power behind them to do their own, you know, announcements to, for things. They, you know, you have EAA, right? They can do a big event, right? But these smaller developers don't get a chance then to kind of put it out unless, you know, they're working with a Microsoft or Sony or something like that, which is the downside of things, I, th I think. So maybe there'll be, you know, another, a new um, event that's able to take over what E3 was a be able to do. Um, but I hope that this doesn't, you know, discourage anybody or, you know, developers or anybody else with this. I hope that this, you know, we see it as it is, and I hope that developers still go forward because there's a lot of cool games that <clears throat> have the ability to be designed and be able to come out, and I'll be waiting to play them. I know I have a friend that goes through a lot of first-person shooters. You get, you get, bring out a first-person shooter, he'll be the, one of the first ones to buy it and play it. So um, definitely do that. Uh, but, it, you know, these are things that they sometimes they go in cycles. Sometimes, you know, it's no longer economical, and even though it's been around since 1995, it's uh, it was time for it to kind of cycle down, basically because of what has happened in, in recent time here. So let me know if you have any cool memories or anything from E3. Um, leave in the comments what were some of the best um, games you saw at E3, or one of some memories you had of either going or watching E3. Um, with the games that were, were announced, um, what are some things maybe you thought that they could do differently for this as well? So I just wanted to get out a quick video of this, you know, it's uh, sad to see, but um, it is what happened and hopefully there's something that comes out of this, you know, and we don't lose sight of, you know, all the games that do get announced during the year and uh, are we're able to take part of in that entertainment. So. With that, thank you so much for supporting Gray Overload and helping this channel grow. I really do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It really does help on the channel. Until next time, God bless.